Welcome everyone, Legends here, and today guys I am bringing to you a video, like a how-to video, on how I get my blurred backgrounds in my face cam. Now I don't have a high quality camera, I don't have a good camera at all, but it's something I think a lot of people oversee, like what they can actually use in the uh, things that are available to them that they can actually use instead of like an actual good camera. There's so many other ways out there. There's a lot of people who want the expensive way and like what everybody else has. Me, personally, I don't have a lot of money to get like a good camera. I don't even have enough money to get like a, a Logitech C920. I don't use that obviously. You can see by the direction as I look and how I play. It's completely different. Like it's not even mounted on my uh, monitor. So I'm going to show you guys how I get my blurred backgrounds. And anybody, this can be used for anybody. If you don't have a good high quality camera that does it, I don't know which one does it. You can literally use this technique in order to do so like I do. It's very, very simple. As soon as you get it down. And like it could be used for any single camera you use or face cam. Whatever you use to get your face on your videos, you can use this technique to get a blurred background. So without further ado guys, let's get right into it. Okay guys, I'm going to go ahead and open up my Sony Vegas software. Um, I probably have to create a new one. But this is just a technique I found out when I first started to get my face cam on my videos. I literally did so much research and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and create a new one. I'm just going to get a random face cam. What you do guys, this is how I do it. I cut out to the part that I don't need. Delete it. Obviously, if you guys want to see how I edit my videos, be sure to check that out on my channel. I always disable the resample. Now, this is this is where I go. This is how I start off, guys. I basically get everything how I want it, you know, line everything up with my game clip and everything. And then what I like to do is if you're using Sony Vegas on your keyboard, you can hit U. And then what it does, it splits or like it disattach or whatever you want to call it the audio and um, the actual video layer so what then I do is I right click insert new video um, track then I hold control or you can just right click copy and paste if you hold control and then click and drag up it automatically makes a copy makes it easier because you already know it's aligned so you don't get like nothing weird going on once you get it to this point guys I always like to you know get everything back in the group so if you highlight or if you click on this and then hold shift and hit on the bottom track they are highlighted if you hit G on your keyboard guys then they're all connected once again and then what I do is I go all the way to the beginning of the track on the bottom this one right here on the bottom track I go to video FX I already have a preset for mine, so I go to Gaussian Blur, and depending which, like, if it's in the right hand corner of my videos, I use the 0.005. If it's just like a normal screen, I'd use the 0.100. But this, just for this video's sakes, I'll use the 0.100 because that's a little bit more. I put them on the bottom track right there. So I have a Gaussian Blur on this bottom track. I don't know why, just completely. And as you guys can tell, there's no, there's not really a blur yet. Like, it's not there. So what you got to do after that, guys, you have to. Click on the top track now, click all the way over just in case if I can get it. And then you want to hit this pan and crop tool. I'm going to go ahead and show you right there, right there, that one right there. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to hit mask. Now what that does is it makes you eligible to mask out anything in your videos like Photoshop, you know, like the pen tool in Photoshop. So then what I do is I get as close as I can to like the side that I know that I won't be moving as much on and when it gets to my head I like to go out a little bit more because you know you can't perfectly stay still like especially like alive or something I don't stay still so that's why I go out a little bit you know I try to get out as far as I can and basically if I felt like I moved a lot this video I'll pan out a little bit more or less depending on the video that I just recorded depending if I felt like I moved a lot once you get it once you get it all um cropped out and whatnot you see it's all cropped out and you can kind of see like there's a blur now you know before um there wasn't you see the difference on this right here look at this look at my monitor in the background there's a blur and then when you take it off there's not and you can also just tell by the, the cropping so then what i like to do is i like to go to this none situation hit both and then i like to put the feather type up to 25. what that does is going to basically feather out both sides not only in like it's going to just like basically fade in the blurry wheel there you go guys like once again i will show you um without it and with it and that is how i get my blurred backgrounds in 
my videos now guys if you did enjoy this video smash that like button this can be used for any single camera you have if you want blurred backgrounds in your video this is a great technique that I've learned to do just refer back to this play around with the blur like it depending on the blur I like it the presets that I have you can go a little bit more blur depending on what you're doing decided to make this video because I had a friend of mine good friend of mine comment in my last video on how to do it deluxe he commented asking how do I get it and then I asked him if he wanted me just to make a video for him just so he can know and possibly you know if you guys have any questions like he probably just helped other people who at one was wondering how I got my blurred backgrounds if you guys have any questions on something that I do in my video just let me know and I can help you guys so thanks for watching guys if you did like this video please hit that like button hopefully it helps other people too thanks for watching guys subscribe if you're new around here goodbye I'm the realest one that's repping oh my god oh my god if I die I'm a legend when they lay me down to rest I know